Child marriage in India, according to the Indian law, is a marriage where either the woman is below age 18 or the man is below age 21. Most child marriages involve underage women, many of whom are in poor socio-economic conditions. Child marriages were prevalent in India in the very recent past. Estimates vary widely between sources as to the extent and scale of child marriages. The International Centre for Research on Women UNICEF publications have estimated India's child marriage rate to be 47% from small sample surveys of 1998, while the United Nations reports it to be 30% in 2005. The Census of India has counted and reported married women by age, with proportion of females in child marriage falling in each 10-year census period since 1981. In its 2001 census report, India stated zero married girls below age 10, 1.4 million married girls out of 59.2 million girls aged 10 to 14, and 11.3 million married girls out of 46.3 million girls aged 15 to 19. Since 2001, child marriage rates in India have fallen another 46%, reaching an overall nationwide average 7% child marriage rates by 2009. Jharkhand is the state with highest child marriage rates in India 14.1%, while Tamil Nadu is the only state where child marriage rates have increased in recent years. Rural rates of child marriages were three times higher than urban India rates in 2009. Child marriage was outlawed in 1929, under Indian law. However, in the British colonial times, the legal minimum age of marriage was set at 15 for girls and 18 for boys. Under protests from Muslim organisations in the undivided British India, a Personal Law Shariat Act was passed in 1937 that allowed child marriages with consent from girls' guardian. After independence and adoption of Indian constitution in 1950, the Child Marriage Act has undergone several revisions. The minimum legal age for marriage, since 1978, has been 18 for women and 21 for men. The child marriage prevention laws have been challenged in Indian courts, with some Muslim Indian organizations seeking no minimum age and that the age matter be left to their personal law. Child marriage is an active political subject as well as a subject of continuing cases under review in the highest courts of India. Several states of India have introduced incentives to delay marriages. For example, the state of Haryana introduced the so called Apni Bedi, APNA Don program in 1994, which translates to my daughter, my wealth. It is a conditional cash transfer program dedicated to delaying young marriages by providing a government paid bond in her name, payable to her parents, in the amount of 25,000 rupees $350, after her 18th birthday if she is not married. <laughs> <laughs> Definitions of child marriage India Child marriage is complex subject under Indian law. It was defined by the Child Marriage Restraint Act in 1929, and it set the minimum age of marriage for men as 18, and women as 15. That law was questioned by Muslims, then superseded by personal law applicable only to Muslims in British India with Muslim Personal Law Shariat Application Act of 1937, which implied no minimum limit and allowed parental or guardian consent in case of Muslim marriages. Section 2 of the 1937 Act stated, any other provision of personal law, marriage, dissolution of marriage, including talaq, ila, zihar, lien, kula and mubarat, maintenance, dower, guardianship, gifts, trusts and trust properties, and waqfs other than charities and charitable institutions and charitable and religious endowments the rule of decision in cases where the parties are Muslims shall be the Muslim personal law shariats. The 1929 law for non-Muslims was revised as several times after India gained its independence from the colonial rule, particularly in 1978 when the marriage age was raised by three years each for men and women. The applicability and permissibility of child marriage among Muslims under the 1937 Act, under India's constitution adopted in 1950, remains a controversial subject, with a series of Supreme Court cases and rulings. The definition of child marriage was last updated by India with its The Prohibition of Child Marriage Act of 2006, which applies only a to Hindus, Christians, Jains, Buddhists, and those who are non Muslims of India, and b outside the state of Jammu and Kashmir. 
For Muslims of India, child marriage definition and regulations based on sharia and nikah has been claimed as a personal law subject. For all others, the Prohibition of Child Marriage Act of 2006 defines, "...child marriage", means a marriage, or a marriage about to be solemnized, to which either of the contracting parties is a child, and child for purposes of marriage is defined based on gender of the person, if a male, it is 21 years of age, and if a female, 18 years of age. World UNICEF defines child marriage as a formal marriage or informal union before 18 years of age. UN Women has proposed that child marriage be defined as a forced marriage because they believe children under age 18 are incapable of giving a legally valid consent. <inaudible> Origin and causes of child marriage In a 1998 New York Times report, sociologists stated that some communities trace its origin to the Muslim invasions. Per legends, invaders raped unmarried Hindu girls or carried them off as booty, prompting Hindu communities to marry off their daughters almost from birth to protect them. Others suggest child marriages were common everywhere in the world before the 19th century. At the time of the Delhi Sultanate, political atmosphere was turbulent and ruled by Muslim sultans in an absolute monarchy government. During this period the sultans produced practices such as child marriage and had lowered the status of women even further. Dharmasastra Dharmasutras state that girls should be married after they have attained puberty. In Manumriti, a father is considered to have wronged his daughter if he fails to marry her before puberty and if the girl is not married under three years of reaching puberty, she can search for the husband herself. Medhadithis Beshia states the right age for marriage of a girl is eight years old, this can also be deduced from Manumriti. According to the Tolkapiyam, a boy should be married before he is 16 years old and a girl before she is 12. The Greek historian Megasthenes though talks about early puberty of girls in South India. According to Edgar Thurston, in South India a candlelight ceremony was held for girls from 7 to 9 years, likely later, but always prior to the marriage. Alan Dahlequist states this is evidently a puberty ceremony before marriage, which may explain Megasthenes' comments. Parents of a child entering into a child marriage are often poor and use the marriage as a way to make her future better, especially in areas with little economic opportunities. Dowry is a practice in India where the bride's family transfers wealth to the groom. In many cases, it is a demand and condition of marriage from the groom's family. Dowry is found among all religious faiths in India, and the amount of dowry demanded and given by the bride's family has been correlated to the age of girl. Nagi, in 1993, suggested that the practice of dowry creates a fear and pressure to avoid late marriages, and encourages early marriage. Poverty in India has been cited as a cause of early marriages. Child marriages of girls is a way out of desperate economic conditions, and way to reduce the expenses of a poor family. In some parts of India, the existence of personal laws for Muslims are a cause of child marriages. For example, in Kerala, 3,400 girls of 13 to 18 age were married in 2012 in the district of Malappuram. Of these, 2,800 were Muslim. 82%. Efforts to stop this practice with law enforcement have been protested and challenged in courts by Indian Union Muslim League and other Islamic organizations, with the petition that setting a minimum age for marriage of Muslim girls challenges their religious rights. Statistics <inaudible> 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 Child marriage rate estimates vary significantly between sources, with some based on small local survey samples. The table below provides some of child marriage estimates for India along with the nature of data collection. The small sample surveys have different methods of estimating overall child marriages in India, some using multi-year basis data. For example, NFHS3 data for 2005 mentioned in above table, used a survey of women aged 20 to 24, where they were asked if they were married before they were 18. The NFHS3 also surveyed older women, up to the age of 49, asking the same question. The survey found that many more 40 to 49 were married before they turned 18, than 20 to 24 age women who were interviewed. 
In 1970s, the minimum legal age of marriage, in India, for women was 15, the states with highest observed marriage rates for under 18 girls in 2009, according to a Registrar General of India report, were Jharkhand 14.1%, West Bengal 13.6%, Bihar 9.3%, Uttar Pradesh 8.9% and Assam 8.8%. According to this report, despite sharp reductions in child marriage rates since 1991, still 7% of women passing the age of 18 in India were married as of 2009. UNICEF India has played a significant role in highlighting the Indian child marriage rate prevalence data from its 1990s study. According to 2011 Nationwide Census of India, the average age of marriage for women in India is 21.2. In the age group 15 to 19, 69.6% of all women surveyed in India had never been married. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Laws against child marriage. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> The Child Marriage Restraint Act of 1929. The Child Marriage Restraint Act, also called the Sarda Act, was a law to restrict the practice of child marriage. It was enacted on 1 April 1930, extended across the whole nation, with the exceptions of some princely states like Hyderabad and Jammu and Kashmir, and applied to every Indian citizen. Its goal was to eliminate the dangers placed on young girls who could not handle the stress of married life and avoid early deaths. This act defined a male child as 21 years originally 18 or younger, a female child as 18 years originally 14 or younger, and a minor as a child of either sex 18 years or younger originally 14. The punishment for a male between 18 and 21 years marrying a child became imprisonment of up to 15 days, a fine of 1,000 rupees, or both. The punishment for a male above 21 years of age became imprisonment of up to 3 months and a possible fine. The punishment for anyone who performed or directed a child marriage ceremony became imprisonment of up to three months and a possible fine, unless he could prove the marriage he performed was not a child marriage. The punishment for a parent or guardian of a child taking place in the marriage became imprisonment of up to three months or a possible fine. It was amended in 1940 and 1978 to continue raising the ages of male and female children. The Prohibition of Child Marriage Act, 2006 In response to the plea writ petition c. of the Forum for Fact-Finding Documentation and Advocacy at the Supreme Court, the Government of India brought the Prohibition of Child Marriage Act PCMA in 2006, and it came into effect on 1 November 2007 to address and fix the shortcomings of the Child Marriage Restraint Act. The change in name was meant to reflect the prevention and prohibition of child marriage, rather than restraining it. The previous act also made it difficult and time-consuming to act against child marriages and did not focus on authorities as possible figures for preventing the marriages. This act kept the ages of adult males and females the same but made some significant changes to further protect the children. Boys and girls forced into child marriages as minors have the option of voiding their marriage up to two years after reaching adulthood, and in certain circumstances, marriages of minors can be null and void before they reach adulthood. All valuables, money, and gifts must be returned if the marriage is nullified, and the girl must be provided with a place of residency until she marries or becomes an adult. Children born from child marriages are considered legitimate, and the courts are expected to give parental custody with the children's best interests in mind. Any male over 18 years of age who enters into a marriage with a minor or anyone who directs or conducts a child marriage ceremony can be punished with up to two years of imprisonment or a fine. Applicability <inaudible> 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 Muslim organizations of India have long argued that Indian laws, passed by its parliament, such as the 2006 child marriage law do not apply to Muslims, because marriage is a personal law subject. The Delhi High Court, as well as other state high courts of India, have disagreed. 
The Delhi Court, for example, ruled that Prohibition of Child Marriage Act, 2006 overrides all personal laws and governs each and every citizen of India The ruling stated that an under-age marriage, where either the man or woman is over 16 years old, would not be a void marriage but voidable one, which would become valid if no steps are taken by such court as has option s to order otherwise. In case either of the parties is less than 18 years old, the marriage is void, given the age of consent is 18 in India, sex with minors under the age of 18 is a statutory crime under section 376 of Indian Penal Code, various other high courts in India, including the Gujarat High Court, the Karnataka High Court and the Madras High Court, have ruled that the act prevails over any personal law including Muslim personal law. Legal action on legal confusion There is a standing legal confusion as to marital rape within prohibited child marriages in India. Marital rape per se is not a crime in India, but the position with regard to children is confusing. While the exception under the Criminal Law Section 375, Indian Penal Code, 1860 applicable to adults puts an exception and allows marital rape of a girl child between the age of 15 to 18 years by her husband, another new and progressive legislation Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act, 2012 disallows any such sexual relationships and puts such crimes with marriages as an aggravated offence. CEDAW The Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women is an international bill attempting to end discrimination against women. Article 16, Marriage and Family Life, states that all women, as well as men, have the right to choose their spouse, to have the same responsibilities, and to decide on how many children and the spacing between them. This convention states that child marriage should not have a legal effect, all action must be taken to enforce a minimum age, and that all marriages must be put into an official registry. India signed the convention on 30 July 1980 but made the declaration that, because of the nation's size and population, it's impractical to have a registration of marriages. <laughs> Consequences of child marriage Early maternal deaths Girls who marry earlier in life are less likely to be informed about reproductive issues, and because of this, pregnancy-related deaths are known to be the leading cause of mortality among married girls between 15 and 19 years of age. These girls are twice more likely to die in childbirth than girls between 20 and 24 years of age. Girls younger than 15 years of age are five times more likely to die in childbirth. Infant health Infants born to mothers under the age of 18 are 60% more likely to die in their first year than to mothers over the age of 19. If the children survive, they are more likely to suffer from low birth weight, malnutrition, and late physical and cognitive development. Fertility outcomes A study conducted in India by the International Institute for Population Sciences and Macro International in 2005 and 2006 showed high fertility, low fertility control, and poor fertility outcomes data within child marriages. 90.8% of young married women reported no use of a contraceptive prior to having their first child, 23.9% reported having a child within the first year of marriage. 17.3% reported having three or more children over the course of the marriage, 23% reported a rapid repeat childbirth, and 15.2% reported an unwanted pregnancy, 15.3% reported a pregnancy termination stillbirths, miscarriages or abortions. Fertility rates are higher in slums than in urban areas. Violence. <inaudible> 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 Young girls in a child marriage are more likely to experience domestic violence in their marriages as opposed to older women. 
A study conducted in India by the International Centre for Research on Women showed that girls married before 18 years of age are twice as likely to be beaten, slapped, or threatened by their husbands and three times more likely to experience sexual violence. Young brides often show symptoms of sexual abuse and post-traumatic stress. Prevention programs in India Apni Bedi, APNA Don Abad, which translates to, My Daughter, My Wealth, is one of India's first conditional cash transfer programs dedicated to delaying young marriages across the nation. In 1994, the Indian government implemented this program in the state of Haryana. On the birth of a mother's first, second, or third child, they are set to receive 500 rupees, or $11 within the first 15 days to cover their post-delivery needs. Along with this, the government gives 2,500 rupees, or $55, to invest in a long-term savings bond in the daughter's name, which can be later cashed for 25,000 rupees, or $550, after her 18th birthday. She can only receive the money if she is not married. Anju Malhotra, an expert on child marriage and adolescent girls said of this program, No other conditional cash transfer has this focus of delaying marriage. It's an incentive to encourage parents to value their daughters. The International Center for Research on Women will evaluate Apni Bedi, APNA Don over the course of the year 2012, when the program's initial participants turn 18, to see if the program, particularly the cash incentive, has motivated parents to delay their daughters' marriages. We have evidence that conditional cash transfer programs are very effective in keeping girls in school and getting them immunized, but we don't yet have proof that this strategy works for preventing marriage. Said Pranita Acute, the program manager for Apni Betty, APNA Don. If Haryana State's approach proves to be valuable, it could potentially be scaled up to make a significant difference in many more girls' lives, and not only in India. See also Child marriage Teenage pregnancy